What's up everybody, this is another Chris Chorus with your host Chris, and in this video we are going to learn how to use Webpack to auto-prefix our CSS. If you've ever had the issue where you're developing with newish CSS features and things start to break when you test on older browsers, then there's a good chance that your styles aren't being prefixed correctly. If you have no idea what any of this means, no worries, I'll explain further within the video. But for now, if you'd like to follow along, there's a Git repo within the description that'll put you exactly where I am right now. Clone it up. Let's begin. So you'll see that we have a very basic Webpack config setup for managing our CSS. We're using Webpack to compile and minify our SAS, but if we run this in the terminal, you'll see that we are greeted with an error message. And this is due to the fact that we never downloaded any of the packages within our package.json file. So to do this, I'm going to run yarn install and you can run npm install if you don't have yarn downloaded as of yet. With these packages downloaded, we are going to run a command that you may be unfamiliar with, webpack dev server. Webpack dev server is a package that will spin up a local server on your machine and allow you to view your files in the browser. It's used for a number of purposes, mainly hot reloading, which will automatically reload your changes without refreshing the page, but we're not going to focus on the details of this tool as of yet. We'll do that within a future video. For now, just know that we need Webpack Dev Server for testing purposes later on. So to run Webpack Dev Server, we're going to type exactly that in the terminal. Take this link that it gave us, throw it in the browser, and you'll see we have a very simple page with text displayed in its center. So this is all fine and dandy, right? If we look at our SAS file, we're making use of Flexbox to center our text since it makes the process so freaking simple. But we're not done just yet. As disciplined developers, we should test this across a number of different browsers and devices to ensure that all of our users are receiving the same experience and that nothing is broken. So if we test this on Safari, we're good. But if we test this on iOS Safari using Browser Stack, Our text is no longer centered vertically. Now, why is this, you ask? Although supported by the majority of browsers and devices, Flexbox still has issues with older versions of browsers, such as iOS Safari and, of course, Internet Explorer. If we check out Can I Use for Flexbox, you'll see that it's supported for most versions of iOS Safari, but if we want to ensure that our site works on older versions of iPhones with iOS 8, we need to add a WebKit CSS prefix. As soon as we add this prefix to our styles, Flexbox will function correctly, just as it does within other browsers and devices. We can do this by hand, but it's quite tedious and makes for a messy CSS file. As a result, we're going to use Webpack to automatically prefix our CSS, which is actually quite simple to implement. To auto-prefix our CSS, the first thing we're going to need is a post-CSS loader. This loader contains a number of plugins to manage our CSS, but we're only going to use one of them, the auto-prefixer plugin. Let's install this loader by running yarn add post css dash loader dash dash dev in the terminal and with the loader downloaded we can head on over to our webpack config.js and chain it in between our sas and css loaders it's very important that you put this in between these two otherwise webpack will throw an error so placing this here will tell webpack to compile our sas add browser prefixes where necessary and then output our css to the browser to finish this off, we're going to need a snippet of code. If we look at the post-css loader git repo, you'll notice part of the installation consists of creating a post-css config file that specifies which plugins should be used in unison with Webpack. So we're going to copy this snippet and create a post-css config file. Then we're going to paste the snippet in here and delete the two plugins we don't need since we only plan on using auto prefixer. So let's check out our build so we can see the difference between what our regular CSS looks like and what our auto prefix CSS looks like. Webpack dev server doesn't actually create a build for us, so to do so we'll run webpack as we normally do. And with this in place, you'll see that our CSS and build.js has been updated with all the prefixes we'll need in order to ensure our site works on older browsers. So in order to test on browser stack, we need to ensure Webpack dev server is running. So we'll start it back up again and restart the emulator. 
And now you'll see we have Flexbox working even though we're on an older device. Essentially, we just automated part of our development workflow so we can ensure we have the most robust build possible for our CSS. If you're using Webpack to manage your CSS, I highly recommend using PostCSS on every project you work on, at least until all older browsers are completely phased out and all CSS features are fully stabilized, which most likely won't be for a very long time. So that's all for this one, folks. Hope you found this video useful, and I appreciate your attention. As you know, I do follow how many subscribers I'm at periodically, and since I just hit 100 yesterday, I'll be amping up the quality of my production even further by replacing my janky-ass iPhone recording setup with a camera that should show its worth in future videos. Until then, I hope you can survive my iPhone jank in the bits I still use it in, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.